Welcome back, everybody, to day six of the 31 Days of Slashers, where I am going over a different slasher movie every day for the entire month of October. Let's get into this one today, called The Pool. Uh, Yeah, we got a freaking another VHS here. That's two days in a row. Let's get into the synopsis of this one. School's out, exams are over, and it's time for real life to begin. But before 13 friends from the International High School in Prague disappear to the four corners of the earth, they intend to throw the best party of their lives. The idea to stage the party in Prague's biggest swimming pool is illegal but irresistible. And when Gregor, the laid-back leader of the group, thinks an idea is good, no one objects. But what begins as the party of a lifetime quickly turns into a race for survival as, one by one, the teens end up meeting a bloody fate as a mysterious mass killer continues his rampage through the building it quickly quickly becomes clear that he may be one of their own as you can see i had an old sticker there i tried to get off there this is one of those old vhs i had picked up for fairly cheap way back in the day and okay this one here of course is the pool it is from the year 2001 it is day six here on the 31 Days of Slashers, and this one here is from Artisan Entertainment. Now, as I was putting back my cutting class VHS, I saw this one. Uh, if, for those that don't know, I reviewed cutting class yesterday if you want to check that out. Um, I, desi I decided to rewatch this one here. It's another uh, one-time watch from many years ago. I had seen this one. And uh, I liked it back then, and I got to say, I liked it again right now. But this one gets off to a great start. A uh, couple get slashed the fuck up, and you know what kind of ride you're in for pretty much from the get-go. Uh, not sure if this one has a Blu-ray release yet. I know, I think there's a DVD that was kind of maybe a little harder to find at one point. I don't know if there's a Blu-ray release of this just yet. The killer dons this half skull mask. He sports some black tights and got a big old machete. He wears like this tight black shirt, these like uh, leathery freaking vinyl type pants or something, and this like half skull mask. So he he does look kind of cool. It is of the era though, uh, of the early two thousands, late nineties. There, um, the pool itself is awesome. The pool itself is just this like giant luxury pool there's a second floor and a balcony that's kind of surrounding it there is a bar to the side there is a, a water slide fountains um the pool itself is dope as fuck it's a really cool place to, so it's a cool location a different location and a cool location for a slasher movie and uh the coolest kill does involve the water slide or at least my favorite one it is a quick then two slash um, there is some recognizable faces in here that went to like bigger, better, or not, I wouldn't say better, but just bigger, higher budget movies. Um, you got, uh, what's his name? The dude that's from like Split and stuff. He's in here. Come on, focus. Uh, yeah, James McAvoy or whatever. The guy that's from Split and some of the X-Men movies and a bunch of stuff. Um. He's in here, and then a couple of the female characters also look familiar. But yeah, there are some recognizable faces in here. This is probably either their first movie or one of their first roles. Um, this one also has a high body count and is pretty underrated. Um, I did have a lot of fun with this one again. And yet another one that does not overstay its welcome, and it clips along at a steady pace. So, all in all, uh, check this one out, y'all. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Um, sometimes it's hard to get uh, a movie in. Uh, it, last year, I seem to have more time. I've been a little busier this year. I am going to try to get one up every day to review and show you guys. Um, if there's a day or two I miss, I will uh, try to play catch up. But I'm really trying to get at least one up for every day. 31 flicks is a little harder of a challenge than it seems when you got some different stuff going on these days. So yeah, everybody hope you've been enjoying this so far. We are already on day six here of the 31 slashers. Um, if you're just joining me, I like to just remind people sometimes that are just seeing my videos for the first time. 
last year I went over the 31 days of Dollar Tree horror where I watched a different movie from Dollar Tree. I am going over my entire uh, Blu-ray collection. Those people waiting for that last shelf, I still have that coming up. More than likely, though, it'll probably be after this 31 days uh, of horror challenge here. But yeah, I'm still rolling with this stuff. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's having a good October. I hope some of you guys are seeing some movies you haven't seen in here already or some that you may want to revisit or some recommendations. But so far, six for six. I'm having fun with all these. Today was The Pool.